Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the miscellaneous series and from the last video onwards, we started discussing about solvers in ComSol Multiphysics. In the last video, we basically talked about the direct solvers and the iterative solvers. The direct solvers are those where we solve a set of algebraic equations by direct methodology like LU decomposition and in iterative solvers, we follow iterative method. So an iterative method is like if you have a set of algebraic equations, that means you need to have solution for a set of variables, dependent variables. And what we do in iterative solution, we initially assume some guess values and then by following some mathematical rule, we keep on changing the guess values until we get a converged solution. So converged solution means a real solution or near to real solution. So this is how the solution of set of algebraic equations go and the set of algebraic equations we basically get from the discretization of the partial differential equations and those partial differential equations come from the physics we take for the particular problem. Now, we converge our discussion to a particular solver, which is Pardiso solver. So, Pardiso is a type of direct solver. Direct means we are solving it directly. That means it is not an iterative method. And the full form of Pardiso is parallel direct solver. So, in this method, there is a particular algorithm and ComSol has actually hired that particular algorithm to solve their algebraic equations. So why am I talking that ComSol has hired? Because it is not written by ComSol, it is written by somebody else. So let us look into some, some information, those are available in on internet. So here this is the website of ComSol where they have written something about the solvers. So today I will only be reading about this Pardiso solver. So you can see here the Pardiso solver works on general system of the form AX equal to B. So this is the general representation of a set of algebraic equations where A represents a matrix and B represents a vector. So we all know about this set of different set of algebraic equations. So we basically or ComSol basically solves this set of algebraic equation. So they have mentioned it in order to improve the sequential and parallel sparse numerical factorization performance. Words are very complicated, but as we proceed with this particular tutorials, we'll be more clear about all the facts. So let us just read it out today. The solver algorithms are based on a level 3 BLAS update and the and they exploit pipeline parallel parallelism with a combination of left looking and right looking super mode techniques. So again I am telling these things are looking like very complicated. So what we need to do is we need to explore it in detail. So in this upcoming videos we'll be talking about this thing step by step so that this complicated statements become very clear and we have a we have an imagination of what is going on in the background of ComSol and I feel this is necessary so we'll learn it together I am exploring this particular thing for all of us so here most important thing for today's discussion is this particular algorithm that is the Pardiso algorithm is taken from this MKL Intel. So it is basically developed by Intel and it is developed in it is written in C and Fortran language. So their algorithm ComSol has hired and they are actually using it for the solution or the direct solution. So let us look into the original document of Intel. So there is a kind of 
manual of Intel which I have actually taken for all of us. So here you can see about this part so Intel MKL 10.2 introduces single precision support in Pardiso and here are something about this Pardiso direct sparse solvers so they are mentioning something and I will just talk about the implementation for solving larger problems because we have a set of multiple equations so this is very robust to solve a set of say many equations 10,000, 20,000, 10 lakhs 20 lakhs whatever number of equations you have this is very robust to solve your set of algebraic equation so it support both separate backward and forward substitution so those things are little bit known because we have all learned about it in our numerical methodology classes so here we are actually we will be doing those exercises so that we understand all the numerical methodologies and then we can actually talk about the Pardiso solver. So I'll put those documents in the description box because if you want to have a look, you can just go through this document. So I'm just showing it. So here you can see this is the Intel Math Kernel Library. So this is very much important with respect to the Pardiso solver. So you, you can also have a look Again, I'm telling, I'll just share those documents, the links in the description box. And in the upcoming videos, I'll be, I'll be exploring this Pardiso solver in detail. So this was just an introduction just to tell you what a Pardiso solver is, where from it is taken and how exactly this is applied for the solution of the equations. So today I stop here. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe to our channel because that will give us more motivation to upload videos.